So, good evening. It is 7.20 p.m. Friday, October 2nd. I made a status update today regarding people who post the beheadings and executions of people or pictures of, like not even pictures, sorry. I'm talking about videos, pictures, whatever. I'm talking about videos of people being executed, of people being murdered, all kinds of things, especially the relig religious executions. So here was my status. I said, okay, Islamic and Muslims, real talk, for real question, okay? Why exactly do some, now here's where people F up and seem to lose all meaning, okay? I said some, which means if you're not one of these people that do these things, then I'm not talking to you. So how about you take a cold shower, okay? I don't know, get some Vaseline, and hit the books okay why exactly do some of you people constantly post beheadings and other so-called religious executions no god would love a murderer so when you think you're going to meet Allah you may meet him in the opposite way you had hoped judgment day will be a real bitch for some of you remember that so all I'm saying is no matter what religion you are whatever religion you happen to be you are not the higher being of your religion, okay? Which means you have no right, no place to end somebody's life for any reason, period. That's just what it is. At the end of the day, let me repeat it again in case some of you seem to have missed it. At the end of the day, no matter what religion you happen to believe in, you are not the god of that religion unless you worship yourself and then that's a whole other bag of issues that you need to work out by yourself you are not the higher being of your religion therefore you have no right to go and behead somebody or promote encourage big up shout out or give props to the beheading of human beings okay I don't even like seeing animals being slaughtered online okay let alone watching some man handcuffed laying on the ground trying to basically squirm away for for his life and some other guy just casually comes up behind him, grabs, like, here, like, puts his fingers in his nose, probably a little bit in his mouth, peels his head back, and s basically cuts off his head. And the camera zoomed in on that. So, uh, Sebastian, Sebastian Erickson, who seemed to be quite angry over this status, you tell me, is that cool? Is that kosher? That's what you want to see online? That's, that's proper? Them things is cool? Because that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people that post those things, regardless of what religion they are. They may not even be Muslim, or Islamic, or Sikh, or anything like that, or any of those religions that believe in that, but they're still posting it, and they're pushing it out there, they're promoting it. And who knows? Maybe one day my kid might get Facebook and somebody might post that shit. Who says I want my kid seeing somebody get their head cut off? I don't. Not saying that I'm going to shelter him from the world, but at the end of the day, some shit just doesn't need to be spread out there, okay? It doesn't. It's like AIDS. You want, it, what, should we just start spreading AIDS and stuff? No. It's something that you don't want spreading, right? Right. This is not something we want to promote amongst the youth. And as a matter of fact, I read in a newspaper, and I should have brought it home from the office, that this is a whole new trend that's coming out, is people are finding these shock videos, and it's a now an internet shock trend, where people like to watch these videos and record their reactions to these things and push it out there. So then more people see their reactions and wonder, hmm, what are they watching? And then they go and watch it themselves. It's, it's making entertainment out of the slaughter of a human life. No matter which way you slice it, look at it, it's promoting the ending of a human life. And at no point should that be watched. That person obviously had a family or has a family somewhere out there in the world, and I'm sure they would not take comfort knowing that somebody's posting, yeah, big up this video, LOL, on Facebook of somebody having their head removed from their body. So that was the point of my status, okay? I'm not attacking religions as flawed as all of them may or may not be, I'm not attacking the religions. I'm attacking the people within the religions. And this is what I talk about with hypocrisy of people who claim to be so godly or so um, good in the eyes of their religion, whatever it happens to be, is they're constantly doing things that their religion does not support. I don't think anywhere in the Quran 
I'm not sure. I haven't read it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think anywhere in the Quran it says, go out and behead everybody you get the first chance to if they happen to do something that you don't think is right by your interpretation of the Quran. Because remember, there's like somebody said on here, who was it? <clears throat> Frank Castle, I think, said it. He was discussing the fact that there's different denominations of Islam, right? So there must be, right? So they have clashes. Look at, what is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Palestine and the Israelis. What's going on there? They're clashing. Uh, Sri Lanka, the Tamils versus Singhalese. It's a religious clashing, I believe. The Catholics in India versus the other... Um, races etc what's my time here because I know YouTube's picky about time five minutes okay so yeah that's my point is at no point in time do I believe a religion would support the slaughter of another human being you are not the higher being of your religion therefore you don't have the right to commit murder slaughters executions promote it stand by it big it up enjoy it that's just my personal view they're human lives regardless so think about it whatever that guy did whatever he happened to do had somebody in your family done that too would you like them to be videotaped as their head was severed and then have it all over the place let's look at it this way a while back earlier this year I believe it was earlier this year or late last year this guy on on a Greyhound bus in Winnipeg, you guys can Google this, decided to behead a passenger with 37 other people on a bus. Okay? He cut off the man's head and he held it up and he was talking all kinds of befoolery. Now, had somebody recorded that, do you think it would be okay for somebody to post that video because, oh, well, you know, the Asian guy that did it thought it was okay, so, you know, we just decided, yeah more power to him. I was the same religion as he was, so I started posting it all over the place. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, you just shouldn't friggin' do it. So that's my personal opinion on that. So, for those of you who took offense to my status, the only reason you should be taking offense to my status is because you're somebody who posts these things. Therefore, if you are not, listen carefully, if you are not somebody who posts public executions, beheadings, murders, etc. on the internet, videos of that on the internet, I am not speaking to you, therefore you have no reason to go bright up yourself and get hot. Cool it. It's that simple. And if you want to come defend posting those things, because you are one of those people that post those things, knock yourself out, you're basically beating a dead horse, because I'm not going to change my opinion of that. So that's my opinion on it. You guys read the status wrong. Pay attention to words. I'm tired of, I feel like everybody should have taken a legal course at some por point in their life so they can learn the interpretation of words. Learn to listen to the words. I did not say all Muslims or all Islamic people or any of that or all religions. I didn't say all Christians rape little boys. I didn't say any of those things. I did not say any of those things. The word some is the operative word. As a matter of fact, just for you guys right here in the little time I have left, I am going to define the word some by looking it up on dictionary.reference.com. You feel free to check it if you'd like. Being an undetermined or unspecified one, some person may object. In quotes, yours used with plural nouns, certain, some delays, some days, sorry, I stay home. Number three, a certain, of a certain unspecified number, amount, degree, to some extent. And that's the definition in which, or sorry, context in which I'm using it. A certain unspecified number. Did you guys catch that? Or do I need to yell it a little louder? An unspecified number, amount, or degree. So when I say some, I could mean three Islamic people do it. I could mean two Christians do it. I could mean... Four Buddhists do it. I said some. I don't know the numbers. I don't care to know the numbers. The point is, it's happening as prevalent in our world because we see it. Okay? And if you think I'm wrong, I will post the link. Actually, no, I don't even feel that. 
I will copy and paste the link into the status so that the video screen doesn't actually come up into the status comments so you guys can feel free to go there and watch it yourself and then tell me I'm wrong for making a status like I did. Now I believe my time is over so I am gone. Bye.